contact. Yeah, I'll just be seeing how our running backs be getting hit in the legs yeah. and stuff. I'm yeah. like, oh, I can't. You know, I ain't trying to do that. I need my legs after this. And thank God for Dion though, because like DBs back in my day would be wearing number 47. They ain't no, no Dion take nothing on. The whole yeah. yeah, he came out there with the, <laughs> with the, and the headband. Yeah, I was like, all right, okay. I can play DB then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he put a little flavor put a swag on, it. on it. Listen, yeah. man, from LA to Miami, man, with Dion Lenore right here, man. Footballville Podcast. Chad Wilson. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy too. I mean, they I mean, was boys. all athletes, but then they just stopped playing. Oh, okay. Oh, 16 boys. No, yeah, I got questions. So you already know what the house was like for me. Yeah, right. So that's why, like, just somebody had to make it. Yeah, just being competitive is like that's nothing. Like we we was playing video huh? games, fighting yeah. and stuff. Oh like, my goodness! Like it was like that growing now, up. How like, you control 22? 22 brothers. Well, somebody gonna be an adult at some point while it's some. Yeah, I grew up kid. in the same house. Yeah, same house. What where you fit in? What number are you? Uh out of the twenty out of yeah. the twelve, I'm number nine. But mm -hmm. out of the twenty-two, I'm like, I don't even know. I think I'm probably like probably fourteen. Yeah. Tell tell me something that y'all family could do that a normal family can't do. Like y'all could play seven on seven. Like just tell me something that y'all could do <laughs> that you've seen your family do in your house that a normal oh, family yeah, just couldn't like, pull off. Like we have like events and stuff. Like yeah. if we if we like we we got like a real like a starting defense and a starting offense. Wow. <laughs> For real. <laughs> that like, trip to Fatburger must have been crazy, though. What? Man, we was going to Hometown Buffet, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, for sure. Like, just did, whatever, whatever. Did you, cheaper for everybody. When did you realize as a kid that this wasn't normal? Like, I ain't, I ain't, that's crazy. That's, that's a good question, though. But, uh, I ain't realize everything until I got like, until I got like 13. And I was like, and then when they started, when they, cause they, you know, like they came over on the weekends and stuff, like some, they'll be there during the day. I mean, like during the week and stuff, but like when they came over to, to the weekends and I couldn't understand why they kept having to leave, like, you know, sometime after the weekend, they would leave and go home to their, to their moms, you know? So like, I didn't understand. I'm like, why they keep leaving? Like if this, our brothers, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and they would go they keep, home yeah, and, and then and come back. And then we used to like, my dad, he used to like, like we used to cry because like they was leaving like because mm, yeah. you know that's all like when you come from a big family right that's all you really know like you don't really know like just being by yourself that's why like i can't be by myself how many would like, leave besides the 12. yeah yeah like nine like nine nine right. you pack them up escalate <laughs> then they Better come back and escalate. Yeah. Then they come back and like party they out there <laughs> yeah when they come back when they come back it it just you know it just it's back like Everything like we just we a family again. Like did, did it was it financially was it tough or was y'all straight like see we didn't even really realize it. No, like, you don't as a kid. You my don't. mom and my dad, they never showed that like if they didn't have some wow. like because we all we always got everything we wanted. Mm. But it was like we never knew like even if they was struggling, like they would never show it. Like so that was I give uh, I tip my hat to them on that one. That's, that's uh, amazing. Man, they must be had it then, right, Chad? They had to have it, right? So, yeah. Some. <laughs> your like, your you ticket situation for the games must have been crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. What about yeah. when Oregon would come down and play UCLA or USC? Oh, I had like I had like forty people there. Like I was borrowing tickets from people on the team. team like right. when they knew when we play LA, they knew I'm coming for them tickets. Right. I need some tickets. Like yeah, wow. yeah. That was it was crazy. Are y'all all close? Yo, I mean. Not now, just like just just how I, we had like some differences in our family. Yeah, like we not that close now, but like I mean we still talk and stuff, right. but we ain't we just not that close. Yeah, I just think everybody at like a different point of their life right mm -hmm. now. Like everybody yeah. trying to do their own thing. Life and, takes charge. About what age? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. When it's twenty two of y'all, and you're not gonna like people gonna be thinking differently, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like you, like I don't even you don't even see everybody because everybody come at a different time. Like you don't see everybody. Yeah. Like we would never just be there at one time. Like somebody always got something to do, or you know, like with me, I'll be traveling and. Yeah, man. I want to ask you about draft day. You know, because uh, it can be it can be a tough situation, the grueling process. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't know where you thought you were going to go when you came out. This That's always all over the place. Yeah. But, you know, I went through this with Marco. He went in the fourth round. You sitting there waiting. Day one, no. Day two. After day two, tell me what the thought process was like after day two. Uh, 
So it was a what happened was like it was a it was an article came out on Bleacher Report mm. said I was gonna go in the third round. Mm. Uh, I think it, it was a hundred second pick to San Francisco. I mm. remember it like it was yesterday. Mm. Uh, and then when I when that day two, it was over. Man, I, I immediately start crying. Like mm. I just knew like because like all my dreams, everything that I worked for, like it just didn't happen. Like yeah. it didn't happen how I wanted it to happen. Right. Like you know, I mean, I went back to school. I was thinking I was gonna go first round, like, well, that was that was my whole plan. Like, I, I felt like I had a good season. I mean, I I really didn't get a lot of action just mm -hmm. because I was the 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 older guy on the corner because I had um, Mikael Wright. Yeah, uh, he was uh, he was a sophomore. No, he was a junior. He was a no. He was a sophomore. He was yeah. a sophomore, and you know he was other, on the other side. So you know most teams like when. They see like seniority. They gonna go at the sure, you know, the younger of course, guy. yeah, yeah. So, uh, so he was getting most of the targets, but I was still holding, holding on my own. He was doing, he was holding his own. But when it came down to the draft, I ain't had that much production. So, um, I believe that's probably why I went uh, later, because my junior year they was, they they was telling me I was going second or third round. Like, so I felt like, you know, uh, if I would have went, so well, I, my process in my head. If I would have went back, I felt like I could have went first round. Yeah. So that's why I end up going back. Right. But after that day two, yeah, I was I immediately start crying. You know, um, ready to shoot the whole block up. Huh? What I was like, man, I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to get a regular job. Man, like, I'm not playing football no more. I'm like, I... so then when that day three came, you still I just waiting said, day yeah, three I'm a little bit. I'm still waiting. Like the whole fourth round go by. I'm like, they don't think I'm good enough to go in the fourth. Yeah. So then it's just like, man, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what to think. Then I'm seeing everybody go like all the corners that I ain't never even heard right, of. Right, right, like, right. I'm like, they all getting drafted. I'm like, oh man, it's probably over for me. Yeah, they taking a corner from Southwest Missouri Baptist. You like, yeah, oh. they they took a corner from uh, D two. That was uh, I forgot what school he came from, but it was he was D two, and I was just like, oh, that's crazy. And the Rams needed a corner, rounds, right? right? That's who it was, and I'm like, I'm from L A. Like, <laughs> I'm from LA, y'all. Man, yeah. I was just like, day all right. two is only the second round, though, right? No, nah, day two, yeah, day two, second and third. Oh, day so, three. So, so you had missed three rounds. Yeah, and you thought it was over for you. Yeah, you still had four rounds left, though. But I was like, if they ain't call me now, like, and I yeah, your mind start going everywhere. Yeah, like. I'm like, I feel like I'm as good as anybody in the draft. Like, if they ain't call me now, then they ain't gonna call me. I, I want to unpack that because I always wondered about that, like. Uh, you're getting a life chance, a chance that only 1% get. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That they may call your name. And when y'all start dropping, y'all start feeling like, is that the, the image that you, of what people think of you? Or is that you really feeling like they may not pick your name? But you know they're going to pick your name at some point in time. I swear, I, I swear to you, I did not know they was going to pick me. Oh, wow. I, it it like does after, feel like that. After yeah. that second and third, because like, you know, like, you know, like you see the mock drafts and stuff, like, I was I was seeing second, third, fourth. That, I ain't never seen fifth. Right. So once they passed those three rounds, I'm like, I'm not getting drafted. Like, I was already like, I'm not getting drafted. I'm already figured trying to figure out something like what else to do. When they start grabbing guys from schools you'd never heard of, yeah, you start yeah, like, all kind of messages going in your head. Like, did, man, did you have a clue like why you wouldn't get drafted? Was it something that was over your head? I tested good. I really don't know why I didn't get drafted. Like I, I really don't know. Like right to this day, I still don't know why, I, like, yeah. why I fell in the draft. I think probably because uh, I was shorter. Did you, how tall are you? Five ten and a half. Chad, that's that's not normal. That's I, not what they want anymore. That's not what they yeah, want. Yeah, they they want six one and six man, two. Man, Seahawks messed the game up, man. What with the big cornerbacks? Oh yeah, they six plus. That's yeah. what they want. Yeah. Chad trained all the DBs, man. Chad got yeah. two DBs in there. All the ballers <laughs> around 5'11", though, so, I, you know. <laughs> that's what I'm I don't saying. know. I'll, that's what I'll be saying. I'll be like, I don't know how they 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 go to start getting the 6'3", six, 6'2". Six, yeah. I mean, they, they can't move like me. That's all. Where, where, where were you at? Like, where, when the draft was going on first round, you was home? Where were you? Oh, yeah. I mean, I had my immediate family, but it was still like All that. 30 of them? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I, I, I only kept it at like eight people. Yeah. Like, man, how I didn't did you make want... that decision? <laughs> it was hard. Some people had to be mad at you. Yeah, yeah for sure. Wow. For sure. It was people mad at me that they didn't get the address to the Airbnb. I'm like, it wasn't even supposed I didn't even want an Airbnb. I was going to do it in the hotel. Like, I just wanted to like yeah. four, four people to be there. 
Why, why was that? Because you wasn't sure or you just wanted to enjoy I just, it? I just didn't want that feeling of embarrassment. Like, yeah. Yeah. like you, like I did all this and I didn't even get drafted. Right. Like, yeah. That After is the third that round, do you even want anyone there? Yeah, I'm like. You about to George Jefferson, everybody get out. Yeah. <laughs> Slam the door behind him. I, um, you, you know, like five years ago, the word embarrassment, I kind of took out of, out of my vocabulary. Because embarrassment is self-inflicted. And I yes. always take it as you walking through the mall, you slip and fall, right? And then you look around and somebody start laughing and you feel embarrassed, right? Yeah. If you're walking through the mall and you slip and fall and you get up and say, F y'all, I don't care what y'all think. And you just keep walking, you're no longer embarrassed. See, embarrassment is, is you doing this. So I stopped, I stopped doing that to myself. You know what I'm saying? It's just stop caring about what people think. Yeah. Um, embarrassment is self-inflicted. You know what I'm saying? I, so I just took that out of my vocabulary, bro, um, being embarrassed. But I totally understand. You know, I, I totally understand. Yeah. Um, but, dog, you had done accomplish so much. Yeah, that's true. That's, yeah, it's like, man, like, how high do you have to go to somebody to be like, all right, bro, you good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it, it's just like, it's just like, it's a thousand percent effort with no guarantee. Like, so when I start looking at it like that, like, that's when I start really elevating as a person and just mm -hmm. being able to just really lock in and just uh just do do what I know I can do like control what you can control that's like like even when I got there like I wasn't playing right away I mean I just really took it as like just go in and just compete like just show them that you're not a fifth round draft pick and that's that's kind of what how I, I carried the chip on my shoulder like yeah. me showing up yeah. What was the feeling when you did actually get that phone call, though? Oh, it was a, it was a relief. Like, yeah. it was, I, I'd never forget. I was walking up. I had already threw in a towel. Like, yeah. it was already fifth, the fifth round. It was like, it got to like 165. And mm. I was like, man, it's over with. Like, mm. I just walked upstairs, threw my phone, laid on the bed. And then I hear my phone start ringing. And I'm like, and I looked at the phone. It's a 408 San Jose. I'm like, what? San Jose. Mm. I don't know nobody from mm. San Jose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't know the Niners <laughs> stadium, stadium was in San Jose right, now. Right, right. So when I answered the phone, uh, it was uh, Shanahan. And then... Now you're thinking you're getting pranked. Yeah, I'm like, wait, hold on, hold on. Is they playing with me right now? Hold on. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I couldn't even finish the conversation with him. I was happy. Like, yeah. I was like... I mean, I did, it's not the round that I wanted to go, but it, I got yeah. called. Like, just to have my name called in front of my family... Yeah, by a good team too. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and then after that, like, after after I got like you know my screams, I jumped in the pool, yeah. like got that out. I was already ready to work. Like I yeah. was still like that's still fifth round. Like it right. stayed it stayed in my head. Like yeah, yeah. I'm fifth round draft pick. Like right. I shouldn't have been on the bar on the board that late. Yeah, like, I, that I feel yeah. Is it do they treat the, the rounds different? Like one, two, three, they basically make the team, right? Yeah. Four, five, and six, y'all gotta. You gotta get earn to work. it. Special teams, you gotta. That's really how it is. Like the first, second round, you got. You kind of got your. You got. You got a spot on the team for sure because you were drafted high. Right. But you still gotta like. You still. I mean, yeah. well, for the Niners, you still gotta prove yourself, kind of. Yeah. But you you got a spot. Like right. you gonna make it. Like for the fourth through seventh, you grinding. Like it's get in where you fit in. You gotta make more plays than you got made on you, or. It's just, it's up. It's, your, your spot is up. Like, yeah. So it's kind of like. Welcome to the NFL moment. Like, I'm, uh, in, the, I'm in the league now. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> It's George Kittle. Uh, we was we was in a stadium. We had practice in the stadium. And uh, we was on we was on the goal line. And I'm looking on the sideline. I see I see Jason Verrett. I see Kawan Williams, Jimmy Ward. Uh, who else? Uh, Manuel Mosley. And I'm lined up against George Kittle. Yeah. And they like, they telling me fade, but I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> this split is giving me a, a slant, yeah, 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 like yeah. a slant split. I'm like, he far out. Like, mm. but I'm like, this my this my first, you mm. know, in the league scrimmage. So uh we in the stadium, there's all the fans there. Mm. And they throw a they throw a the back shoulder fade. Oh my goodness. And he kept he he dunks on me. <laughs> he dunks on me. But I'm like, I'm like under him, and I'm still like, I'm I'm fighting trying to hit the ball out. And he just snatched it and then he spiked the ball. The crowd went crazy. 
I mean, that was like my, my that was an embarrassment moment for me yeah. too. That one right there. More embarrassment. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't getting rid of that yeah, one. I was like, I was like, what the man? It was the last play of the scrimmage too. I yeah. played, I played ninety. I had a hundred plays that day. I played ninety nine good plays in that one play, wow. and I was just like, it's George Kittle though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies. That's why. That's why I had to. But it was like he he muscled me though, cause like that's what he do though, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Like he came off the line, he rocked me to sleep. Then he grabbed me and threw me. Oh, boy. And the ball was there. And he, and I was like, damn. How big is Kittle? What are we talking about here? How big is Kittle? Like 6'4", 250, <laughs> lean, fast. <laughs> it's crazy. He, I've never seen nobody like him. He could cut off the inside of his foot yeah. and go the same direction. So, yeah. But do you ever learn how to guard that? Like after seeing it over and over again? Oh, yeah, yeah, can yeah. Can you get in his face now and be like, all right, bro, let's go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Like, I mean, that's just who I am. Like, if somebody get me, like, just know I'm coming back. Like, I got to get my get back. Yeah? It's, yeah, it's it's, it's going to be that, like, for the, for the rest of my career. Like, that's just Chad, how I'm you wired. Teach, you training people? You teaching people how to judge Kittle? How, how do you I mean, guard yes, Kittle? Yes, yes, you can. Oh, <laughs> Tight ends eating, though. Yeah, Tight ends yeah. are definitely eating. So, I am trying to get guys groomed to, like, let's try and slow them down in this league yeah. right now. Right. If you can cut out a niche where you can cover tight ends, then you you know you could you could probably you could probably make some money in this league, man. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I what I learned is like when I every time I was physical with a tight end, it always worked. Like, cause you know they can't they ain't really got as, as much twitch as a, a, right. a DB. Like, mm -hmm. so like just being physical with them, that kind of worked for me, cause that's like how I am. Like I'm I'm more of aggressive at the line. I'm gonna get in your face. And it's gonna be hard nosed bump. Right. Where'd that that's, come from? What the, uh, that that uh, mindset as a DB. Uh, so my coach, my DB coach, Coach Ely. I mean, I actually I was an offensive player before, and he came up to me when I was I was on JV. He was I'm gonna turn you into a DB. I'm like DB. I'm like I just had 50 touchdowns. I just broke every record at the school. I'm not playing no DB. Like, so then they had pulled me up for varsity. I played DB and I was going against uh, Jeremy Kelly. He he had like he went to Salesian High. He had like. At the time, he had like 20, 30 offers. Right. Like, he was a good receiver, like, a good four star receiver. So, I was going against him, and then I had pressed him and I threw him under the bench one time. Oh, wow. So, then that's when uh, my coaches, like, they was going crazy. They, like, oh, like, you a freshman. Like, yeah. you know, you say you don't want to play DB. Like, I'm like, man, I ain't never played defense before. I'm, I'm just, I'm just an athlete. Like, I'm right. just competitive. Like, I'm just do whatever to win against somebody else. So, you went ahead and switched over? Yeah, so I went. You didn't want to do the fifty touchdown thing again, like you just. No, got I stayed playing uh, offense through oh, high school. Got you. But then when I got to college, they uh -huh. moved me to DB. Yeah. When so you, when you when you, so when you went to Oregon, you were recruited as an offensive player. Yeah, athlete. Yeah. I oh, okay. So you could have went either way. Yeah. Right off rip, you went to DB though. Yeah. Did you have an Taggart. idea that was gonna happen, or they made you feel like either or coming in? Yeah, they go ahead, yeah, throw, Taggart, throw Chris the ball yeah, or whoever. Oh, Taggart, yeah, Taggart Willie, Willie, throw Willie under the bus. Taggart was telling me he like. Cause I was telling them, I'm like, man, I want to play offense. Like, you know, mm -hmm. Oregon, you know, all the electric offensive players. Right. Like, so I'm like, I'm trying to play offense. And he like, yeah, yeah, you gonna play yeah, offense. Next like, like, mama, yeah. come on, baby. Like, we got you, we got you playing slide. You can play running back too. Right. I'm like, all right, I'm going to Oregon. I'm, yeah. I'm Oregon duck. I got there, he like, man, we need DBs. Oh, like, oh, I'm, I'm like, what? I'm like, DB. I'm like, cause I had, uh, I had the little kick return in the Army All-American game. Mm. Yeah. So I I was balling on the you, offensive you, side. You returned it to a touchdown? No, nah, not a touchdown, but I got it to like 10. That's good enough in the Army yeah. All-American game. Yeah. Them guys, yeah. Offense getting murdered in the And then I had like a punt return. I had a uh, like a 50-yard punt return too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I was I was balling on the offensive side. Right. I had a couple of PBUs on defense too though, because uh -huh. they they threw me in there just because I was had the athlete badge. So Yeah. And then when I got to Oregon, yeah, so he's like, we need DBs. So I'm like, oh man, I'm like, oh, I thought I was coming to play offense. I'm I'm ready to return and do all this. So then I got on defense, and then I end up uh, my freshman year, I had pulled my hamstring, so I was out. And then uh, I think they start getting me burned like week eight. Yeah. I think my first game playing was I was in a nickel package. We was playing uh, Utah, so I had a, I had I played pretty good that game. And then uh, I kind of sat down and was just playing special teams after that. I had I had got an uh, interception versus Stanford. And then uh, after that, that's when I started playing more. 
So then uh, the next following year, like our coaches, they leave. Uh, we get Coach Dante, Coach Dante from USC now. Yeah. Uh, so when I got with him, I started telling them, like, I, I don't want to be just an athlete no more. I, like, want to know the game. And, like, yeah. uh, so once he started teaching me that, that's when I started getting good and I started getting confidence. Yeah. And then that's when the bump and run coverage came. And I was just like, I I, I never played off. Yeah. Like, I was like. Just bumping it, all the time. Yeah, press. It was like, it was like fourth and 30. I'll be up there. Press. Yeah. Like, nah, like, throw the ball. I don't care. Like, <laughs> yeah. you no, know, he ain't going to outrun me or right. he ain't going to beat me across the face. Like, I ain't going to. So, yeah, that's kind of how my mentality was with just yeah. me playing press coverage. Like, I used to just love press coverage. But then when I got to the league and I started playing off coverage and then picks, yeah, like it, it couldn't beat that. Yeah, let me yeah. see that quarterback a little yeah, yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the league, is, is the, the time that the quarterback has, is, is it the same in college or it goes a little faster? Like, yeah. Uh, it's, it's more faster, but uh, I would say the timing is the, the most important thing in the league. Mm -hmm. Cause like if you knock off a QB timing, then you win the route. Right. But if you let that connection, you let like just like uh, Aaron Rodgers and Devonte Devonte Adams. Right. That connection, that timing, like it was just unmatched. Like it was kind of like a cheat code. Right. In, in what ways? Devonte Adams has to get off the ball. Yeah. He has to do what he do. But, but you're he, saying once he do what he do, the timing is like. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like the pay, his patience. He was so locked in with Aaron Rodgers. They threw a back shoulder fade on me before. So okay. that's how I know, like, it was like, as soon as he came off the line, he took, like, three steps and the ball, like, he just opened up and the ball was there. Right. Like, it's just like super the connection. Hard, like, they you already, defend it, right? yeah. super hard to come. Yeah. It's, that connection was already there. Like, so it's, I had to learn, get, when you get to, up to speed with that, then that's when you start making plays and you start being able to, you know, play around and, like, Mix up, you know, press bail and stuff like that. What's the, what was the playoffs like for you and just and just that whole Super Bowl type run that y'all were trying to be on? You know what I mean? Y'all, yeah. The Rams got y'all at the end, but you know what was that? What was that like? It was um, well, y'all, you talking uh, rookie year or rookie year? Rookie All right, year. rookie year. It was more of like, I mean, I felt like we had the team to do it. It just like. We had we 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 struggled with finishing our rookie yeah. my rookie year. We just like we we get up on the team. We would be up just like that Rams game that mm -hmm. the NFC Championship. We was up seventeen to seven. I want to say like seven minutes left. The interception uh, dropped interception. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like we had never like finished right. like, and that's what we was dealing with the whole season because like we started off we started off like I want to say like zero and four. Yeah. We started off 0-4 and, and then when I think we won like we uh we won two games and then we lost two and then we won like the next six or the next seven and then we was like we was we was hot so we went to Tennessee that was like our last game we we had lost that game Tennessee because we didn't finish mm -hmm. we didn't finish we was up we we could have been up on 20 uh Tennessee like 28 to 7. Mm -hmm. uh we dropped I think we dropped two touchdowns like in the red zone. And then uh I think uh yeah, we had dropped two, we dropped two touchdowns, mm -hmm. and then like we just wasn't finishing. So like that's kind of like our whole season. Like after after we finished the season, that's kind of like what like all the like vets, like yeah. we were just like next year, you know, we're gonna finish. Like we need to finish better. Yeah. And then we came to this year, and then you know, like the quarterback situation, our quarterback get yeah. hurt. It was just like it was just like really unfortunate for us. Like, yeah. So it was just kind of like it was like a, it was like stressful. I mean, but the, the young guy came in and balled out, though, didn't he? Yeah. How you feel about yeah. Brock Purdy, man? I love Brock. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. He beat he beat me my last year of college. Did like, he? Yeah, yeah, we played him in the uh, the Fiesta Bowl yeah. in Arizona. He beat us. Yeah, he was. I, I I always thought he was nice. Yeah. Like they was telling us he was a first round pick coming out. Right. Uh, so and then after the game, so to see him go in the seventh round, we actually got a steal. I know you had to wait, but he had the super wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah I, I already know what it was like for him just because I was been in that <laughs> right, situation. Right, right. And then to become the last pick, that was like a 50 50 chance. You ain't know if the Niners that's is tough, gonna boy. select the QB. I was, QB. Feeling, I was feeling your pressure, but that's tough. No, yeah, man, the last that's... pick, mystery relevant. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you didn't already throw the phone away, then yeah, like so two years ago, that's when y'all was coming out the Kodak. 
That when, that when y'all oh. was coming out of the locker room and we do, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that, two that, years. That was two. <laughs> yeah. no, I, I created Footballville on those situations. Like I love being there when they walk out. That's how I started. I love being in the hallway when the hurricanes come out. I'm not on the field with the rest mm. of the media. Mm. We cheating. We in the hallways to watch them walk out and stuff like that. And um, that's when TV started doing that, covering y'all. Boom, y'all come out the locker room and y'all got the speaker. You know what I'm saying? And then the Kodak playing and stuff like that. Um. I didn't think that stuff, but how does that happen? Like everybody in on that? Like oh, yeah, the yeah, song, y'all yeah. pick the song. Like how does it work? I mean, uh, we we kind of had superstitious. We were very superstitious. Like we uh, like we came out to that song and we were just winning. <laughs> so then we like let's just keep it going, mm-hmm. and then it started going viral, and then mm-hmm. uh, we just ran with it. Like right. it was just more of like that was just like our our song. Like we knew once we strap it on. What song was about to play and what time, what mode we was in? Yeah, like it, it just had our whole team lit. Yeah, no, no, that's 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 I, I love seeing that stuff, man. That behind the scenes stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> the pageantry of 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 football. Um, so man, you picked. We got a hometown kid here, Gino, who had a rough start, and and then he just went off, took off last year. Big bank, he just got paid, but you picked him off twice. Yeah. Um, you picked him off twice. Yeah, I told him to come up here and fight you. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> so he's on his way here. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna come fight. You know, I'm gonna come fight you since he can't <laughs> beat you on the field. Um, but you you picked him off in the playoffs. Yeah. No. And then on uh, Thursday night. On th- you picked him off on the playoffs and on Thursday night. Yeah. Y'all knocked him out, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's next for you, bro? Um, Anything you're trying to accomplish? Anything you're trying to? Me uh, personally. Like I wanna, I wanna be one of the, I wanna be one of the faces of the NFL too. Like, yeah, I see Jalen Ramsey, Xavier Howard, uh, Jair Alexander. I'm seeing all these, you know, all these good players that I, that I once watched. Like, yeah. I wanna be that too. Yeah. So like, that's just where my mindset is, just going forward. Like, yeah. just I just wanna be up there. So like, this this year for me, I need six. I need six interceptions. Six interceptions. Yeah. Just yeah. to just to put the stamp out there. He trains Xavier. How, how did Xavier do it? Was it all hard work or was it some? Xavier, uh, I, I trained him after his first season. So uh-huh. I've been training him since his, he started his second year in the league. And he's had he has really good instincts yeah. and yeah. ball skills. And I can, attribute that, I can attribute that to his side on the offense. You yeah. know, he was a quarterback. As a quarterback, you got to understand not only just your offense, but what the defense is doing. So when he flipped back over to the other side, it's he kind of knows it. You know, he doesn't have to think about it. I know what this route means. I know what that quarterback, you know, what that drop means, what that look means. So he just has a knack for putting himself where the ball is going to be. So he um, he had that first year that was kind of uh, that second year he took off, man. And then, and then, of course, he had that 10 interception year. So, you know, with this new defense they're going to run, I think he's going he's gonna to really do some yeah. some really good things. Man. Yeah. yeah, for sure. You know, is that a guy that maybe you watched growing yeah, up? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, him. I don't want to say growing up, he ain't that much older than you. I don't want to make Xavier yeah. all over. Nah, but, but I was still, yeah, like I was still like, I always be looking for. I feel like the time that I found out about him, he was kind of a sleeper. Like yeah. nobody was really sure. like giving him his credit. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I was Baylor, that's the, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's the time I was watching him. Like, and I was like, man, like he he good. And I I I used to I used to be the person like, I used to look up forty times because yeah. I was like I'm right. trying to compare it to myself. Like oh, yeah. I'm trying to see. You know, so I looked up and he wasn't even, he didn't, he wasn't a blazer. Like, I'm like, so he got to be smart. Yeah. So, like, him knowing concepts, like, I just, just watch his game. Like, even when we played him, I was still watching. I was on the sideline. Right. Even supposed to be really? locked in on Tariq yeah. Hill. I'm watching him. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, he kind of makes it look easy. Yeah, Almost like a little sure. lazy sometimes and yeah. showing up balls like, in his hand. Yeah. 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 I, I've. I for sure like him as one of the best in the league for sure. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he gets enough credit. That's just me That's personally for sure. though. Yeah. Yeah. You part of the FOL family, man. Footballville family now, bro. You down here in Miami, man. Um, we definitely we on you. We're gonna follow you, dog. We're gonna try yes, to help sir. you get to where you're trying to go to, all right? Appreciate it. All right, man. Mr. Lenore out here in Miami with us chilling. Yeah, shout out all eyes too. Yeah, appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs>